Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Cardinals 8-5 today in a crazy game that went 10 innings, so now they've completed a three-game sweep over the Cardinals. They had to come back from a 5-2 deficit as well as win the game when it went into extra innings. So I think, honestly, that's just great playing from the Giants today. Um, Anthony DiSclefani definitely didn't have his best start today. He allowed five runs and lasted only three innings. After that, though, Jacob Junis came in and pitched three scoreless innings, keeping the Giants in the game. Then the rest of the bullpen, they, they pitched well, shut the Cardinals down. It was good performances from everybody. Taylor Rogers, Ryan Walker, Tyler Rogers, and Camilo Doval all pitched scoreless innings with Doval getting the save in the 10th. The Giants were down 5-3 to three in the ninth inning, and Mike Yastrzemski hit a home run to tie a two-run homer. So that that's just, you think about that, they were down 5-2 to two in the first three innings of the game, and it was in the seventh the Giants finally got another run on the board, and then in the ninth inning, they were it really looks like they were going to lose, but Yastrzemski hit the home run to tie it. Um, going into the 10th, the Giants got another rally going, and Tyro Estrada, Wilmer Flores, and Lamont Wade Jr. all singled in runs to put the Giants up 8-5, to five, and then Doval got three outs in the bottom of the ninth to lock down the save and win the game. So... Everything went right for the Giants today. They, they, they were just incredible in their ability to to rally and, and win in the late innings. And it's it's been the Giants' key su success um, to just oftentimes to get a lot going in the early innings of a game. But we've also seen just a lot of days like today when they're able to come back in the late innings and and turn a loss into a win. That's what they did today. They, they were slow. It, it, it looked like it was just going to finish out as a cold day offensively for the Giants, but they got things going in the late innings, just at the last minute. And then Yastrzemski, he hit the home run when they needed it. And, and that I, I really can't say enough about the Giants' ability to hit homers. And certainly... It's a lot in, in quantity in general, I, I think, relative to all other teams. Just the, the quantity of home runs they hit is impressive. It's probably not going to just add up to what it was in 2021. But, I, I mean, this year they're, they're hitting a lot of them. But also just the fact that there's, there's just always that thread of power at any time. I mean... Today, it, it was only one home run that they hit, although in total they got eight runs on the board, but it came when they were down to just their, their final. They, they, they were just down to the wire there in the ninth inning. So I, I think in, in some ways it's just the constant threat of power the Giants have that, you know, oftentimes it's, it's just a guy comes up and hits a home run at the right moment for the Giants, and when it happens in the late innings, that's that that's when it when the game's close. That's when it really makes all of the difference. So sometimes even when they they can't get things going the first few innings, if if they can get the right hits at the right times in the late innings of a game and and have home runs hit there, I, I think that's something that it it has been and it can continue to be huge for the Giants in, in switching all of the critical games the Giants' way. Um, and then obviously, too, just having guys that can get the bat on the ball. That's what they did in the 10th inning. It, it, it was three RBI singles. They, they got the bat on the ball. And, and that's something that just overall both... I mean, overall last year, it, it, it was just the case, like both when they were at home and on the road that they couldn't get things going. It, it, it was like in extra innings, it wasn't as if 
no one could get the bat on the ball for the Giants, and frequently enough, they were able to advance the runner to third base on a productive out, but getting the runner home was something that they just didn't seem equipped to do in extra innings. Um, and the opposite was kind of true in terms of pitching. They, they just weren't able to, to get three outs in time when the opposing team was up. Somehow just the extra leverage created by the, the new rule, which is good for baseball in general. It's, 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 it's one of the few new rules that's good for baseball in general, but it created a problem for the Giants because it seemed like both offensively and in terms of pitching, they, they just, that leverage that was created by the extra inning automatic runner rule was something the Giants just couldn't handle and, and couldn't play through well. And every team has their strengths and weaknesses, but those extra inning games were just pretty bad last year. And I think it was honestly a big reason why, among some other things, but that, the, the fact that they couldn't get, get games that were likely to end and as one run, one run lead wins, Giants couldn't get those games their way. I think that was a big reason in 2022 why they fell short of a wild card spot. But now, just with everything with the team that's improving, that's definitely improving in 2023. And, and this isn't the first time we've seen them turn a loss into a win. And it's, it's an extra inning win for the Giants after they had come back from a three game deficit to close out a sweep over the Cardinals. Next, the Giants are going to be playing the Dodgers, so it, it, it's a really good time to, to do it when they're on such a hot streak. Uh, I mean, it's just the schedule we have to thank, but and it, it's, it's going to be a tough challenge any way you look at it, and there, there's no way you could look going into this series without just getting your nerves worked up, but I, I, I just definitely think that if it was gonna it gonna happen, this this is the best time when the Giants are hot like this and just coming off of a sweep. This this is a favorable time for the Giants to face the Dodgers, and I I, I definitely think that we can at least hope for the best there. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball One Hundred One. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball One Hundred One.